All right, guys, we have something very, very different today. This is the Xiaomi CC9 May 2 edition. Look at this. The reason why I look a little bit different is because I got all these beautifying effects on my face right now. My chin is thinner, my skin is super smooth right now, and just it's just very different. It's not me. But anyway, let's go ahead and find out what's up with this phone. All right, let's run through the specs really quickly. It has 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage, which is pretty standard, right? And we have a Snapdragon 710 chipset, quite good for a standard mid-range to low-end phone. And a pretty darn large 40-30 milliamp hour battery, very nice. And a triple camera set up on the back with a 48 megapixel primary sensor and a 32 megapixel selfie cam with a whole bunch of beautifying effects and customizations. Oh, and also does come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All right, this is by far, in my opinion, the prettiest and most gorgeous design Xiaomi has ever done. Look at this, they went with a gorgeous glossy glass by cover with rounded edges, makes it feel very thin. It's a little slippery to hold, but when light hits it, it's actually perfect. It's using the same phone body as the Mi 9, but the thin down camera bump, not sure if you guys can see it, makes it look very, very nice. Starting at $260, this phone can pretty much satisfy all a person's needs, not on average. And we all know Xiaomi, they're always able to come up with, you know, budget prices with phones. So it's not surprising that this phone is also at a budget price. We're going to be taking a look at the May 2 edition over here because it comes with the May 2 beautifying app. So a little background information for those of you who don't know, May 2 is a company that develops AI beautifying platforms and apps to cater to the Chinese crowds. So generally, the accepted beauty standards are wider skin tones, thin down faces, thinner waist and thighs, skinny long legs, etc. So that's what this phone does for you when you turn on all of the beautifying effects. You open up the regular camera app, you can see that immediately it comes with beautifying effects and all kinds of them. For example, you can slim down your cheekbones, slim down your chins, get some highlights on your cheeks, make your skin all smooth. It's even got like fixations for your lower eyelids, make your eyes bigger, everything for your nose. So many things. Look, this is not even me. What is this? I don't even know who this person is. But let's do like a quick little contrast. Look at this. Look at that immediate difference compared to how I really look like. Me personally, I don't really like this, but I don't know, it might really work for some people. And when you go into the May 2 camera app, things are even crazier. You get all kinds of cute effects that you can add to your face. For example, all of these. Like, it's insane how many effects that they actually have. And also, besides all of these effects, it's actually really kind of like Instagram when you have all these kind of filters, right? For different occasions like travel, there's sparkling water, food, right? All kinds of different filters. So, as you can see, this phone is really, really just made for everyone who likes to play with TikTok or, you know, short video apps like Vine. So, besides its ridiculous beautifying effects, this phone can obviously satisfy a regular person's needs. When it comes to gaming too, because I know you guys are obviously wondering, it can, it can definitely run games, but it's not the best advice to run games for a long time because it's not running a Snapdragon 855, and plus, it doesn't have the best heat dissipating mechanism inside. So, after playing for about like 15 minutes, I did get the phone to heat up quite a lot. So just so you guys know, this phone is for taking pictures. Not exactly for gaming. So yeah, I guess this is a great phone for our TikTok friends who really like to take, you know, beautified pictures and videos for their TikTok accounts. For me personally, I don't really like it because I feel like the pictures look unnatural and not, you know, they don't look very good for me. But I don't speak for everybody because sometimes it's actually good to not have to spend the effort and time to, you know, get rid of your panda eyes, your wrinkles or your blemishes. So to be honest, $360 is still not that expensive. You want to get that extra beautifying effect onto your phone, right? So, all right, guys. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.